Uh, shalom on the Sabbath day. Welcome to the Philadelphia Assemblies. Today is the eighth day of the third month of the year 5780. It's also the 49th day of the Feast of Weeks and the seventh Sabbath. Tomorrow is Shavuot or Pentecost. Uh, again, welcome to the Philadelphia Assemblies. Uh, we're going to continue our expository teaching. Uh, on the book of First Chronicles, we're going to start in chapter 10, and we're going to go until we've been here about an hour. So uh, buckle up. We're going to start out with a prayer, and then we'll get started. Almighty Father Yahuwah, we praise you in all things. We praise you today as we come to read your word, Father. We ask that you would uh, take care, you would heal all those that were sick especially those dealing with this COVID-19 and you would protect all your, all the believers, father, and all those that are being called. We ask that your blessing be upon each and every one and we be with those families that have lost loved ones, father, touch them and give them the peace that passes understanding. Again, send us your Ruach HaKadosh, your Holy Spirit. Have it teach us all things. Father, let this message be your words and not mine. We ask it all in your precious Son, Yahushua's name. Amen. First Chronicles chapter 10, verse 1. Now the Philistines fought against Israel, and the men of Israel fled from before the Philistines and were killed in Mount Gilboa. Verse 2. And the Philistines uh, trailed hard after King Shaul and after his men, or sons. And the Philistines slew Jonathan and Abinadab, or Abinadab and Milchishua, the men of Shaul, or of King Shaul. Verse 3, And the battle was fierce against Shaul, and the archers hit him, and he was wounded of the archers. Then said Shaul, Shaul to his armor-bearer, Draw your sword and thrust me through, lest these uncircumcised come and torture me. But his armor bearer would not, for he was very afraid. So Shaul took a sword and fell upon it. And when his armor bearer saw that Shaul was dead, he fell also on the sword and died. So Shaul died and his three men and all his house died together. And when all the men of Israel that were in the valley saw they fled, and that Shaul and his men were dead, then they forsook their cities and fled, and the Philistines came and dwelt in their cities. Verse 8, And it came to pass on the morrow when the Philistines came to rob the slain that they found Shaul and his men fallen in Mount Gilboa. And when they had and when they had robbed him, they took his head and his armor and sent into the land of the Philistines round about to carry tidings unto all their idols and to the people. And they put his armor in the house of their Elohim. The word God's here in your King James is Elohim. Okay. So, and fastened his head in the temple of Dagon, their God, or their Eloah. Verse 11. And when all Jeb, Jebushel, Reb, Yabash, I'm sorry, Yabash Gilead heard all that the Philistines had done to Shaul, they arose all the valiant men and took away the body of Shaul, the bodies of his men, and brought them to Yabash and buried their bones under the oak in Yabash and fasted seven days. So Shaul died for his transgression which he committed against Yahuwah, or his sins that he committed against Yahuwah. Even against the word of Yahuwah, which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it. Verse 14, and, in, and inquired not of Yahuwah. Therefore he slew him and turned the kingdom unto Dawid, the son of Yesi. So this... The he here in verse 14 is talking about Yahuwah. He's the one that caused uh, King Shaul or Saul to be 
killed for him to fall on his sword for his transgression or his sins against Yahuwah and turned over the kingdom to uh, to Dawid or David, King David, the son of Jesse or Yesi. Verse chapter 11. Then all Israel gathered themselves to Dawid unto Hebron, saying, Behold, we are your bone and your flesh. And moreover, in time past, even when Shaul was king, you were he that led out and brought in Israel and the and Yahuwah your Elohim unto you. You sh shall feed my people Israel, and you shall be ruler over my people Israel. So, verse two from Thou shalt feed my people is all read in my sword Bible. So this is thus saith Yahuwah. Okay. Verse 3, Therefore came all the elders of Israel to the king, to Hebron, and to Dawid, made a covenant with them in Hebron before Yahuwah. And they anointed Dawid king over Israel according to the word of Yahuwah by Samuel the prophet. I added the prophet. Verse 4, And Dawid and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Yebesh, where the Yebush, Yebushites, I'm sorry, were the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Yebesh, Yebus, said to Dawid, Thou shalt not come here. Nevertheless, David took the, took the castle, or the stronghold, of Zion, which is the city of Dawid, or Jerusalem. Therefore they called the city, called it the city of Dawid, okay, and which is, was referring to Jerusalem. Verse 8. And he built the city. Got a bug on my neck. <laughs> okay. And he, and he built the city round about, even from Milo, Milo round about, and Yo, Yoab repaired the rest of the city. So Dawid grew greater and greater, for Yahuwah of the multitudes was with him. Verse 10. These also are the chief of the mighty men who Dawid had, who strengthened themselves with him in his kingdom and with all Israel to make him king, according to the word of Yahuwah concerning Israel. Or according to scripture, you could say, but it's thus saith Yahuwah. Verse 11, and this is the number of the mighty men whom Dawid had, Yeshobim and Hachamonite, I have a lot of problem with some of these, so bear with me. The chief of the captains, he lifted up his spear against 300 slain by him at one time. Verse 12, and after him was Eleazar, the Ben of Dodu, the Ahoite, who was one of the three mighties. Verse 13, he was with Dawid at Padamam. And there the Philistines were gathered together to battle where was a parcel of ground or a plot of ground full of barley. And the people fled from before the Philistines. Verse 14. And they set themselves in the midst of the parcel and delivered it and slew the Philistines. And Yahuwah saved them by a great deliverance. Now three of the thir thirty captains went down to the rock of Dawid and to the cave of Adullam and the host of the Philistines encamped in the valley of Rephim. Rephim. Verse 16, And Dawid was in the, in the stronghold and the, and the Philistines' garrison was, at Beth, was then at Bethlehem. Verse 17, And Dawid longed and said, Oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem that is at the gate. And the three break through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem and was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out to, to Yahuwah and said, My Elohim, forbid it me that I should, I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it. Therefore he would not drink it. These things did these three mighty. And Abishanite, Abish, Abishiah, the brother of Yohab, he was chief of the three. For lifting up his spear against three hundred, he slew them and had a reputation among the three. 
of the three, he was more honorable than the two, for he was their captain. However, he attained not to the first three. Verse 22, Benaniah, the son of Yehoda, the, the son of a valiant or a strong man of Cabeziel, who had done mighty acts, he slew two lion-like men of Moab. That doesn't mean they looked like lions. They had the strength or the, uh, the uh, fortitude of a lion. Also, he went down and slew a lion in a pit on a snowy day. Verse 23, And he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high, so about 15 feet tall. Okay? And in the Egyptian's hand was a spear like a weaver's beam, and he went down to him with a staff and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand and killed him with his own spear. Verse 24, These things did Benaniah, the son of Yehoda, Yehoda and had the name among the three mighties. Verse 25, Behold, he was honorable among the thirty, but attained not to the first three, and Dawid set him over his guard. Also the valiant men of the armies were at Asahel, the brother of Joab, Elihan, Elanon, the son of Dodu of Bethlehem, 27, Shemoth, a, a Hararite, Heziel the Pelonite, verse 28, Ira, the son of Ikish, the Tekoite, Abiezer, the Anathite, Shibika, the Hushathite, Ilia, the, the Ehoathite, or Heoite, verse 30, Mehar, Mehraira, the Netophite, Net Netophite, killed the Ben of Beana. The Net Netophite, verse thirty-one, Ithiah, the son of Riba, Riba the the Gibia, the that pertained to the the sons or Ben of Benjamin, Benaniah, the Parathon, Parthenite. 32, Uriah of the brooks of Gaash, a, a Baal, the Arbath, Arbathite, Azam, Azamath, Azmaveth, the Baramite, Elab, Elabah, and Shaulbanite. 34, the Ben of, he, uh, of Hashem, the Gizonite, Jonathan, the Ben of Sagi, the Harth, the Harite, verse 35, Aham, the Ben of Saker, the Harathite, Eliphi, Eliphal, the Ben of Ur, of Ur, 36, Hefer, the Nichirite, a Ahijah the Pelonite, 37, Hezro the Carmelite, Neriah the Ben of Esbei, Yoel the brother of Nathan, Mibhar the Ben of Hagari, Zelik the Amorite, Nehara, I did that terribly, sorry. Trying to get this page turn and talk at the same time. The Berothite, the armor bearer of Yorab, Yoab, the Ben of Zariah, Ira, the Ithrite, Garib, the Ithrite, Uriah, the Hittite, Zabdad, the Ben of Ahila, 42, Adon, Adonai, the son or Ben of Shizai, Shizai, the, the Reubenite, a captain of the Reubenites, and thirty with him. Verse 4, Hanan, the Ben of Maacha, and Jehoshaphat, the Mithnite. Verse 44, Uzziah, the Astorite, Shema, the Jehiel, the Ben of Hothan, 
the Arite, verse 45, Yedidiah, the Yedidiah, the Ben of Shimri, and Yoha, his brother, the Tiz, the Tizite, verse 46, Eliel, the Mehavite, and Yeruba, the Yashava, the Ben of Elanim, and Itham, the Moabite. 47. Eliel and Obed and Yasel the Mesobite. Done with those. <laughs> Praise God. Praise Yahuwah. Chapter 12. Now these are they that came to Dawid to Ziklag while he yet kept himself hidden because of Shaul the son of Kish. And they were among the mighty men helpers of the war. They were armed with bows and could use both the right hand and the left in throwing stones and shooting arrows out of the bow, even of Saul's brethren of Benjamin. The chief was Ahizel, and Yo then Yoash, the Ben of Shema, the, the Gibbeth, Gibbethite, and Yezael, the Pelite, the Ben of Asmath, Asmaveth, and Biracha and Yehu, the Anathite. I went through this before in Kings. Yehu, verse 4. And Ismaiah, the Gibeonite, a mighty man among 30, and over the 30, and, Ure and Jeremiah, and Yehaziel, and Yohanan, and Yozabad, Yo the Gerdathite. Eluziah and Yeremoth and Beliah and Beliah and Shermiah and Sephathiah the Harphite, Elkath, Elkanon and Yeshiah and Azrael and Yose and Yozer and Yoshabim the Korathite, Korahites, verse seven and Yo, Yo, Yoel Yola. And Zeb Zebediah, the Ben of Yerohom of Gedor, verse eight, and the uh, and of the Gadites, there came over unto Dawid, unto the stronghold, to the wilderness, men of might and men of war, fit for the battle, that could handle shield and spear whose faces were like the faces of lions and were as swift as the deer or gazelle upon the mountains. Okay, so you can see how uh, King Dawid's army is bolstering here. It's growing. Okay, Ezer the first, Obadiah the second, Elab the third, Mishma the fourth, Yerushim, Yeremiah the fifth. I'll get it out. Verse 11, Attiah the sixth, El Eliel the seventh, Yohanan the eighth, Elizabeth the ninth, Jeremiah the tenth, Machabiniah the eleventh, fourteen. These were the Ben of Gad, captains of the host. One of the least was equal to an hundred, and the greatest over a thousand. Verse fifteen. These are they that went over Jordan in the first month when it had overflown all its banks, and they put the flight all them of the valleys, both to, toward the east and toward the west. So we know that in the spring would be the first month, and that's when the time when the floods would come and overflow the, the Jordan River. So the, that pretty much time stamps what's going on. Verse 16, And there came of the Ben of Benjamin and, Ye and Yehuda to the stronghold unto Dawid. And Dawid went out to meet them, and answered and said unto them, If you become peaceably unto me to to help my to help me, my heart shall be united unto you. But if you be come to betray me to my enemies, seeing there is no violence in my hands, and Elohim of our fathers look thereon and rebuke it. Verse 18, Then the Spirit came upon Amaziah, 
who was chief of the captains, and he said, You are yours are we, Dawid, and on your side, your, your Ben, Yesi, peace, peace be unto you, and peace be unto your helpers, for, for your Elohim helps you. Then Dawid received them and made them captains of the band. Verse 19. And there fell Manasseh to Dawid when he came with the Philistines against Shaul to battle, but they helped them not. For the lords are masters of the Philistines upon consultation sent him away, saying, He will die, he will desert to his master, Shaul, to jeopardy of our heads. Verse 20. As he went to Ziklag, there fell to him Manasseh, Adna, the Yo Yozbad, and Yedel, Yedel. I guess, and Michael, and Yo Yozabad, and Elihu, and Zilthiah, Zilthiah, captains of the thousands that were of Manasseh. Verse 21, And they helped Dawid against the band of raiders, for they were all mighty men of valor, and were captains in the host. For at that time, day by day, there came Dawid to help him, until it was a great host, like the host of Elohim. Verse 23, And these are the numbers of the bands that were ready armed to the war, and came to Dawid to Hebron, to turn the kingdom of Shaul to him, or to Dawid, according to the word of Yahuwah. The bin of Yehuda that bear shield and spear were six thousand and eight hundred, ready armed to the war. Of the bin of Simeon, mighty men of valor for the war, seven thousand and one hundred. Verse 26, And of the bin of Levi, four thousand and six hundred. Twenty-seven, And Yehuda was the leader of the Aaronites, or the tribe of the ones of Levi, the sons of Aaron. And with him were the thousand, were three thousand and seven hundred. And Zodok, a young man mighty of valor, and of his father's house, twenty and two captains. We'll see more about Zodok as we go here. Verse 29, And of the Ben, or sons of Benjamin, the kindred of Shaul, three thousand for here, to, for previously, the greatest part of them had kept allegiance to the house of Shaul. 30. And the Ben of Ephraim, 20,800 mighty men of valor, famous throughout the house of their fathers. Verse 31. And of the half tribe of Manasseh, 18,000, which were expressed by name or designated by name to come and make Dawid king. Verse 32. And of the Ben of Iskar, which were men that had understanding of the, of the times to know what Israel ought to do, the heads of them were two hundred, and all three brethren were at their commandment. Of Zebulon, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, with all instruct instruments, or all weapons, of war, fifty thousand, which could keep rank, they were not of double heart, or they weren't double minded, they were single minded. Verse 34, and of Naphtali, thousand capable, a thousand captains, and with them with shield and spear, thirty and seven thousand, or thirty-seven thousand. Thirty-five, and the Danites, expert in war, twenty-eight thousand six hundred. Thirty-six, Asher, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, forty thousand. Verse 37, And on the other side of Jordan, of the Reubenites and the Gadites, and of the half-tribe of Manasseh, with all manner of, of or weapons of war for the battle, a hundred and twenty thousand. All these men of war that could keep rank, kept with sincere heart to Hebron to make David or Dawid king over all Israel, and all the rest also of Israel, were of one heart to make Dawid king. And there they were with Dawid three days, eating and drinking 
for their brethren and prepared for them that had prepared for them. Sorry. 40. Moreover, they that were near them, even into Iskar and Zebulon and Naphtali, brought bread and donkeys and on camels and on mules and on oxen and food, meal, cakes of figs and branches of raisins, wine and oil and even oil and oxen and sheep abundantly. For there was joy in Israel as they prepared to make Dawid king of all Israel. And I added that. Chapter 13. And Dawid consulted with captains of thousands and hundreds with every leader. And Dawid said unto all the congregation of Israel, If it, is, it seem good unto you, and that it be of Yahuwah our Elohim, let us send abroad unto the, our brethren, even where that remain in all the land of Israel, and with them also to the priests and Levites, which are in their cities, and suburbs or prairie lands that they may gather themselves unto us and let us bring again the ark of our Elohim to us for we inquired not at it in the days of Saul or Shaul verse 4 and all the congregation said that they would do so for the thing was right in the eyes of all the people so Dawid gathered all Israel together for Shihor of Egypt even unto the entering of Hamath to bring the ark of Elohim for Kiriath Yaram. I know that's not completely correct, best I could do. Verse 6, And Dawid went up, and all Israel to Bala, that is, again, Kiriath Yaram, which belongs to Yehuda, to bring up from there the ark of Elohim, Yahuwah, that dwelleth between the cherubims whose name is called on it. So Yahuwah's name was above, was on the Ark of the Covenant. And they, car okay, and they carried the Ark of Elohim in a new cart out of the house of Abinadab and Yuza and Ahio drove the cart, drove the, drove the cart. And Dawid and all Israel celebrated before Elohim with all their might, and with singing, and with harps, and with psalteries, and with timbrels, and with cymbals, and with trumpets. And when they came unto the threshing floor of, Ch of Chidon, Uzzah, Uzzah put forth his hand to hold the ark, for the oxen stumbled or nearly overturned. And the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against Yuza, and he killed him, and he struck him or killed him, because he put his hand to the ark, and there he died before Yeh before Elohim. And Dawid was displeased because Yahuwah had made a breach upon Yuza, wherefore that place is called Perziziel, or the breakthrough of Yuzra, or Yuza. And Dawid was afraid of Elohim that day, saying, How shall I bring the ark of Elohim home to me? So Dawid brought not the ark home to himself to the city of Dawid, or Jerusalem, but carried it outside into the house of Obed, Obedim the Gittite. Verse 14, And the ark of Elohim remained with the family of Obedim in his house three months, and Yahuwah blessed the house of Obedim, and all that he had. Chapter 14. Now Hiram, king of Tyre, set, sent messengers, or malachim. Okay? Same word they translate to angels a lot of times. It's malachim in Hebrew here. To Dawid and timber of cedars with masons and carpenters to build him a house. And Dawid perceived that Yahuwah had confirmed him king over Israel. For his kingdom was lifted up on high because of his people Israel. And Dawid took more wives at Jerusalem, and Dawid begot or fathered more men and daughters. Verse 4. Now these are the names of his men which he had in Jerusalem, Shemamua and Shobab, Nathan and Solomon. 
and Ab Abhi and Abhar and Elishua, Elishua and Ilphel, if Ilput, Ilpalet. Verse six and Nogar and Nepheg and Yepha Yephia. Verse seven and Elishima and Belada and Eliphet. Eight, and when the Philistines heard that David was consecrated or anointed king over all Israel, all the Philistines went up, Philistines or Philistines, and all went up to seek David or Dawid, and Dawid heard of it and went out against them. And the Philistines came and, and made a raid in the valley of Rephim, and Dawid inquired of Elohim, saying, Shall I go up against the Philistines? And will thou and will you deliver them into my hand? And Yahuwah said unto him, Again, it's read in my sword Bible here. Go up, for I have delivered them into your hand. So they came to Bel Pier, Pierism, Pierism, and Dawid smote them or attacked them there. Then Dawid said, Elohim broke in upon mine enemies by my hand like a flood of waters. Therefore they came, they called the name of that place ba Baal Pierism. And when they had left their Elohim, they, and that's what this word is, Elohim in Hebrew, their Dawid gave a commandment and they were burned with fire. Their gods are Elohims. And the Philistines yet again spread themselves abroad in the valley. Therefore David prayed again of Elohim, and Elohim said unto him, Go not up after them, turn away from them, and come upon them opposite the mulberry trees. And it shall be when you shall hear a sound of going in the, tr the tops of the mulberry trees, that then you shall go. Turn two pages, I think. Hang on. Out to battle. For Elohim has gone forth before you to smite the host of the Philistines. Now, we know it wasn't Yahuwah that went out before him. We know it wasn't our Messiah that went out before him. It was the Ruach HaKadosh, the Malachim, or angel, or, Mal or Malak of Yahuwah the angel of Yahuwah that went out before Israel to fight the Philistines. That's what he's talking about when it says Elohim here. It's also sometimes called the hornet, but it's the, the Ruach HaKadosh, or the, the uh, Holy Spirit, as we would say in English. So had is gone, before, gone forth before you to smite the host of the Philistines, or Philistines. Verse 16, Dawid therefore as, did as Elohim commanded him, and they uh, struck the host or the army of the Philistines from Gibeon even to Gezer. Verse 17, and the, and the fame of Dawid went out into all the lands, and Yahuwah brought the fear of him upon all the nations, or the Gentiles. Okay, chapter 15, and Dawid made him houses in the city of Dawid, or Jerusalem, and prepared a place for the ark of Elohim, and pitched for it a tent. Then Dawid said, None ought to carry the ark but the Levites, for them hath Yahuwah chosen to carry the ark of Elohim, and to minister unto him forever. The Levites, okay? And Dawid gathered all Israel together to Jerusalem to bring up the ark of Yahuwah, unto its place, which he had prepared for it. And Dawid assembled the bin of Aaron and the Levites. Notice it separates, even though Aaron is a son of Levi, he is the priesthood, the direct lineage that goes down through time that was to minister to the people and to Yahuwah, okay? To serve, that's what the word minister means here, okay? That's why it's separated. Verse 5, of the sons of Kohath, Uriel, the chief, and his brethren, and a hundred and twenty. Verse 6, the, the bin of Miriah, Mira, 
Ri, Asiah, Asiah, the chief, and his brethren two hundred and twenty. Of the son of the Ben of Gershom, Yoel, the chief, and his brethren a hundred and thirty, which is one of the psalmists that you read in the book of Psalms. Verse eight, and the Ben of Elias Elizaphan, Shemaiah the chief, and his brethren two hundred. Of the Ben of Hebron, Eliel the chief, and his brethren fourscore, okay, which would be eighty. Verse ten, of the Ben of Uz, Uziel, Amenadab the chief, Am, Am, Amenadab the chief, and his brethren a hundred and twelve, and and Dawid called for Zodok, and uh, and Abathar the priests. See Zodok, and then Abathar the priest. These were sons of Aaron, and of the Levites Ure, Uriel and Asiah and Yoel, Shemaiah, and Eliel, and Amenadab. Verse 12, And said unto them, You are the chief of the fathers of the Levites. Set yourselves apart, both you and your brethren, that you may bring up the ark of Yahuwah Elohim of Israel into the place that I have prepared for it. For because you did it not at the first Yahuwah our Elohim made a breach upon us for that we sought him not according to the ordinance or to the law or to the book of the Torah. So the priests and the Levites set apart themselves to bring up the ark of Yahuwah Elohim of Israel and the bin of the Levites carried the ark of Elohim upon their shoulders with poles or staves thereon as Moshe commanded according to the word of Elohim, or again, according to the Torah. Verse 16, And Dawid spake to the chief of the Levites to appoint their brethren to be the singers with the instruments of music. This is the psalmists. Psalteries and harps and cymbals and sounding by lifting up the voice with joy. So the Levites appointed Heman, the son of Yoel, and of his brethren Asaph, which we see many times in the book of Psalms, and the son of Berecha, of the ben of Miriah, their brethren Ethan and the sons of Cushiah. Verse 18, And with them their brethren of the second degree, Zechariah, Ben, and Yezel, and Shemiramoth, and Yehiel, and Unai, Unai, and Eliab, and Benaniah, and Mashiriah, and Mattathiah, and Eliphiel, and Milkiah, and, Ebed, and Obed, Obedim, and Yael, the porters or the gatekeepers. So the singers, Heman, Asaph, and Ethan, were appointed to sound with cymbals of brass, and Zechariah and Azile and Shimimoth and Yahiel and Uniah and Eliab and Maasiah and Benaniah with psalteries or lyres or on Almoth, verse 21, and Adatiah and Eliphel and Mikniah and Obadi Obadim, and Yarel, and Hoaziah, with harps, on, Shim on the Sh Shimoneth to excel. Verse 22, And Chenaniah, chief of the Levites, was with song. He instructed about the song because he was trained. Okay, and verse 23, And Berchiah and Elkanah, Elkanah were doorkeepers, or porters, for the ark. And Shibaniah and Jehoshaphat and Nathaniel and Amasiel and Zechariah and Benaniah and Eleazar the priests did blow with the trumpets before the ark of Elohim. And Obadim and Yehiah were doorkeepers or porters for the ark. So Dawid 
and the elders of Israel and the captains over thousands went to bring up the ark of the covenant of Yahuwah out of the house of Obadim with joy. And it came to pass when Elohim helped the Levites that bared or carried the ark of the covenant of Yahuwah that they offered seven bullocks and seven rams. And Dawid was clothed with a robe of fine linen. And all the Levites that carried the ark and the singers and Chenaniah, the masters of the song with the singers, Dawid also had upon him an ephod or a priestly garment of linen. Thus all the of Israel brought up the ark of the covenant of Yahuwah with shouting and with sound and with, corn, with cornet and with trumpets and with cymbals, making a noise with lyres or, sal, or psalteries and harps. And it came to pass, it came to pass as the ark of the covenant of Yahuwah came to the city of Dawid, that Michael, the daughter of Shaul, looking out at the window, saw King Dawid dancing and playing, and she despised him in her heart. So they, chapter 16, So they brought the ark of Elohim and set it in the midst of the tent that Dawid had set up for it, and they offered burnt sacrifices and peace offerings before Elohim. And when Dawid had finished offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of Yahuwah, and he, dealt, and he distributed to every one of Israel, both man and woman, to every one a loaf of bread and a good piece of flesh and a flagon of wine. And he appointed certain of the Levites to minister before the ark of Yahuwah and to record and to thank and to praise Yahuwah of Elohim of Israel, Asaph the chief, and the next to him Zechariah and Yael and Sh Shimeramoth and Yehiel and Mattathiah and Elib and Benaniah and Obadim and Yehiel with psalteries or lyres and with harps, but Asaph made a sound with cymbals. Benaniah also and Yehaziel the priest with trumpets continually before the ark of the covenant of Elohim. Then on that day, Dawid delivered first this psalm to thank the uh, to thank Yahuwah unto the hand of Asaph and his brethren. Give thanks unto Yahuwah, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people, sing to him, uh, sing to him, sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in his set apart name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek Yahuwah. Seek Yahuwah and his strength. Seek his face continually. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and his justice of his mouth. O ye descendants of Israel, his servants, you been of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is Yahuwah our Elohim. His judgments are in all the earth. Be you mindful always of his covenant the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, even the covenant which he made with Abraham and with his oath unto Isaac. And he hath confirmed the same to Jacob for a law to Israel for an everlasting covenant. Again, verse 18 through 19, after saying is in red in this sword Bible. So it's thus saith Yahuwah, unto you will I give the land of Canaan, the portion of your inheritance. When you were but few, even a few, and strangers in it. Verse 20. Back to, thus saith the, the writer of the Chronicles. And when they went from the nation to the nation, and from one kingdom to another people, he allowed no man to do them wrong. Yea, or yes, he reproved kings for their sakes. Verse 22. Saying, and read again, rest of 22 touch not my anointed and do not do my prophets no harm verse 23 sing unto Yahuwah this is back to the writer of Chronicles all the earth show forth from day to day his salvation or actually this is the saying King Dawid to the psalmist 
Okay, Declare his glory among the, the nations, or the Gentiles. His marvelous works among all Gentiles, or nations. For great is Yahuwah, and greatly to be praised. He is also to be feared above all Elohim. For all Elohim of the people are idols, but the but Yahuwah made the heavens. 27. Glory and honor are in his presence. Strength and gladness are in his place. Give unto Yahuwah, you kindred of the people. Give unto Yahuwah glory and strength. Give unto Yahuwah the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship Yahuwah in the beauty of his set-apartness. Fear before him all the earth. The world also shall be stable that it be not moved. Let the heavens or the Shamayim be glad and let the let the earth rejoice and let men say among the, the Gentiles, Yahuwah reigns. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice all that is therein. Then shall the trees of the wood sing out at the presence of Yahuwah because he comes to judge the earth. O oh, give thanks unto Yahuwah, for he is good, for his mercy, mercy endures forever. And say, ye, say you, save us, O Elohim, of our salvation, and gather us together, and deliver us from the nations, that we may give thanks to the set-apart name and glory in your praise. Blessed be Yahuwah Elohim of Israel forever and ever. And all the people said, Amen, and praised Yahuwah. So he left there before the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah, Asaph and his brethren, to serve before the Ark continually as, they, as, as, every, as every day's work required. And Obadam with their brethren, 68, Obadid, Obadam, also the sons of Yedim, Yedithim, and Hoshan, Hosha to be doorkeepers. And Zodok, the priest, and his brethren, the priests, before the tabernacle of Yahuwah, because the temple was not yet built, before the tabernacle of Yahuwah in the shrine that was at Gibeon, or the high place that was at Gibeon. Verse 40, to offer burnt offerings unto Yahuwah upon the altar of the burnt offerings continually, morning and evening, and to do according to all that is written in the Torah of Yahuwah, which he commanded Israel. And with them Heman and Yedithan the, and the rest that were chosen, who were designated by name to give thanks to Yahuwah, because his mercy endures forever. And with them Heman and Yedithan with trumpets and cymbals, for those that sound make a sound and with musicians instruments of Elohim and the Ben of Yedithan were doorkeepers verse 43 and all the people departed every man to his house Dawid returned to bless his house we're going to go ahead and stop right there it's close enough to an hour and we're this message came today from uh, out at Wren Lake we've been camping out here this weekend and uh, this is, uh, I can't think of the name of this park. What's the name of it again? See how it is? Can't even know, we don't even know where we're at. <laughs> the State Park. Wayne Fitzgerald State Park uh, in Cesar, Illinois. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Got some timers, I think. But anyway, any uh, may Yahuwah bless until we meet again. And we'll all be... the. Uh, Together with the uh, Covenants of Promise tomorrow at around 1, between 1 and 1.30 for our Pentecost celebration or uh, Shavuot. And look forward to being with you there. And again, as always, if you liked what you saw or what you heard, uh, go to our YouTube place and uh, YouTube page and subscribe and hit the little bell so that you get uh, an uh, let, yeah. So we notified that we're gonna we got a new video up, and again, you can as always you can uh, comment down below with any comments that you may have about it, good or bad. Okay, 
and we look forward to being with you again. And again, this is an expository teaching of the entire Bible. We're not quite halfway through the Tanakh or Old Testament. We've already done all of the New Testament save Revelation, which will be done last. And again, may Yahuwah be with you until we meet again.